but and we are live i'm in a really good mood today <laughs> but what is going on shrimp keepers this is rob with flip aquatics if you guys have never met me before ever seen a video um i own a business and a youtube channel i guess i technically i, I guess it is considered owning a youtube channel but it is flip aquatics and what we do is we specialize in freshwater shrimp um, we're getting really heavy into snails and plants and nano fish and all that good stuff. So um, we have come a long way. And the cool thing is, is because we have a YouTube channel, you can literally watch our entire journey of coming from my parents' basement, uh, having fish tanks down there, starting off in fish, loving plants, and migrating to shrimp. So we have come so far. And by we, I say me and everyone watching because you are a part of the Flip Aquatics family. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard my story, but if if you haven't, basically what it is is just, you know, I started this YouTube channel as something for me uh, just to enjoy and look back on, you know, many years to come. And it actually came from another YouTuber's name was GM Love 9 <laughs> and his name is Gustavo. Uh, but anyway, GM, uh, he said that the reason he started making YouTube videos is so that when he has kids one day, they could look back and see his whole life, you know, just unfold before him. And I thought that was such a cool thing. Um, so I think it's going to be really fun one day when, you know, I'm hopefully old, you know, hopefully I get there. Um, and I can just look back on this and share it with my kids, share it with my grandkids. And um, we can just laugh about how uh, this whole journey led me to wherever I'm going. So that's the whole story behind it. And you guys can watch the whole thing um, if you have that much time. Because <laughs> I, I want to say we're about uh, 300 or 400 videos deep at this point. But anyway, it is Sunday. We are live. And I just want to say thank you for stopping out tonight. I know it is a Sunday and there's NFL football on. Um the walking dead premieres tonight which is going to be great really looking forward to that um so there's just a lot of things going on i know there's some uk love in here um we got some of our uk people staying up even though it's like seven or eight hour difference so it's got to be like one or two o'clock in the morning over there and so uh so shout out to the uk for staying up just to say hi um i appreciate you guys doing that but just some people in the chat. Stormy Miss seems to be first. Shout out to Emma. We got Ken Nielsen, Airhawk 360. Um, we got Rory. Rory is from the UK. Cezanza, I think, is from the UK. So Fanatics Aquatics, what's going on? But yeah, it looks like we got a bunch of people in the house. So thank you guys again uh, for stopping. Um, oh, if you are not getting video or if you are not getting audio just refresh the page and uh and it will all be good but thank you guys for stopping out um <laughs> bruce willis jr said when do we get a video showing the nano fish i will actually shoot a video tomorrow for you and i will release it tuesday um that is what's going on football sucks walking dead is boring ruru too what are you talking about i personally do not watch nfl football um, my fantasy team is terrible. If you guys know what that is, fantasy football, come on now. <laughs> and so, uh, so I'm really not into the whole football scene. Even though I played football, I played college football, I played high school football. Um, just it doesn't do it. it. Something once you play the game, like it's hard to watch the game. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to Newcastle, Pennsylvania, Eric B's Aquariums. Um, I actually went to school in New Wilmington at uh, Westminster College in uh, New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. So you guys could look that up. So that's, that's pretty close. Um, but anyway, so tonight I wanted to talk about something um, that I haven't talked about. Or if you guys follow me, you probably know. But if, you have, if you're just now tuned in for a video, you've never really listened to me before. Uh, maybe you've only seen a couple videos. Uh, so I wanted to explain why Flip Aquatics, in my opinion, is the best place to buy shrimp online. And there's, there's a lot of reasons I believe this. And it's because it's because I started as a hobbyist. So, you know, most of us start as hobbyists. Most of us stay hobbyists. Some of us go on to um, own pet stores or start little businesses or breed things for profit. 
And so I started as just a, a normal guy uh, documenting my YouTube journey. And it kind of just took me through this crazy life that I'm living now. And so um, Flip Aquatics was built on a dream that I wanted to provide healthy shrimp. Um, so I first started and I had a rack in my basement. I mean, it goes farther back than this, but this is like the farthest back I'm going to go. So I had four tanks in my basement, um, actually five that were dedicated to shrimp. And I was buying shrimp and I was doing everything I could to keep them alive. And it just so happened that they kept dying. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, you know, I was kind of blaming myself. I was, I was at some point ready to give up, but you know, that's not my nature. So like, I felt like I was close. Like I was like, man, like I'm losing a lot of money. Like I'm killing a lot of shrimp and I love these things. And so I started realizing that when I got shrimp from local breeders, they would do excellent. And when I was getting these shrimp just on random sites on the website or online, um, you know, that looked really good, they were just doing terrible. And then I would start getting these parasites that I never had or these bugs that I never had. Um, I would get these little creatures on their foreheads or on the top. It's actually their rostrum. And uh, it was just weird. And I would get like this green fungus and like I didn't know what that was. And so I was getting all these really weird things. Shrimp weren't doing good. And so what I discovered is that it wasn't me that was bad at shrimp. It was that I was getting shrimp that were sick, that were not healthy, um, that were going through a lot of things. And so I kind of started realizing that um, there really weren't too many vendors out there um, that really actually were putting forth a huge effort um, to increase the hobby or grow the hobby and provide healthy shrimp. And so that's kind of where this whole thing came in. Uh, YouTube and everything like that. YouTube really, it was you guys that were like, hey, like we want to start buying your shrimp. Um, we really need someone that has healthy shrimp. Like there's nowhere to buy from. People would ask me like, where do you buy this from? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. And so this kind of started the whole journey of Flip Aquatics. And I'll get more into it, but Josh Rugg dropping a $10 super chat. He said, just ordered some shrimp and snails and stuff. Thanks for all your help on every order. Someday I will get my stuff together and not need a consult on every order. Fastest customer service ever. So Josh, thank you so much. And we aren't always that fast, especially if you email me. Um, I get pretty backed up. But, um, <laughs> thank you, Nisi. But um, I do have two amazing employees, um, that part of the Flip Aquatics team. Uh, one of them is my wife, Amanda, and she's really good at getting back to people. And then Jeff is our other one, and he is amazing at getting back to people. So um, with a combination of all three of us, we, we, we do provide some decent customer service. Although some of us are, all of us on occasion will miss an email or two. And so things do happen. But, uh, but that's besides the point. Josh, thank you so much uh, for the shout out. I really do appreciate that. Um, Rob Style in the co-op hat. Yeah, I got the Aquarium co-op hat on. Um, so yeah, so I'm definitely styling that. I've been wearing this a lot lately. I like my black hats and mine was getting a little dirty. So I started wearing the, the Aquarium co-op hat. Shout out to Corey. And so anyway, so that's kind of how this whole beginning of this journey started. And I was going to school for business and accounting. And I just decided that this flip aquatic stream was what I wanted to do. And if you guys hear me biting on something, it's cough drops. Um, I've been sick lately. I actually do have strep throat. Um, and I had it for like two weeks before I went and got it treated. And so now I'm on medicine, so I should be better. But again, off topic, scatterbrain squirrel, you know, <laughs> surprises. <laughs> but anyway, getting back on track. So uh, let me fast forward a little bit. There are probably... I don't even know. There's a couple reasons that I believe that Flip Aquatics, uh, FlipAquatics.com is the best place to buy shrimp online. Now, um, I, I highly recommend buying from local breeders. You know, support your local people, um, show them love because odds are they only have one or two types of shrimp. Um, you know, they're just hobbyists like you and me. And so definitely support them. But the reason I believe Flip Aquatics is the best online seller is for this simple fact. We quarantine all of our shrimp, all of our snails, all of our fish for 30 days. And the reason we do this is because we call the first 30 days the red zone. And so the red zone is where everything can go wrong. You know, 
Um, if there's parasites, you know, you're going to know after 30 days. If there's diseases, you're going to know after 30 days. If they're going to die, you will know within the 30 day window. And so after 30 days, 90% um, of the things are either completely healthy or you know there's something seriously wrong with them. And so that is why we quarantine from 30 days is because that gives us the best insights of the health of the shrimp. And we guarantee 100% uh, survival when, when you get them. We guarantee it every single time. We always send extras to cover, um, you know, the occasional death here and there. But we guarantee it 100% and we will stand behind our shrimp always. Um, now, on occasion, like I have um, a customer right now that has a tank set up and I don't know all the details, um, but they ordered 20 shrimp and then the 20 shrimp died within an hour of being in the tank. And I'm like, okay, we need to figure this out. And they ended up completely resetting up the tank um, how they thought was best. And, and then I gave them more shrimp to try them out. And then, uh, unfortunately, those all died. So there's something going on. So in those situations, we work with the customer and we try to find out what's going on and hopefully come to a solution. Because at the end of the day, our entire goal of Flip Aquatics is to grow the shrimp hobby. We want to grow it so, so much and put forth such an effort to show everyone the passion that we have for it and also inspire passion in other people um, to really get into this awesome hobby. And so I'm completely obsessed with it. As you can see, like here's my evaporated water shrimp tank behind me. It's only got half the water in it. Uh, that's just crazy. I got my shrimp food back here, got my shrimp net, and then I got my shrimp, uh, whatever they are. Uh, sh collector shrimp, you know, you know, you're addicted to shrimp keeping when you start collecting little uh, figures of shrimp. So that was the turning point for me. <laughs> but uh, you have shrimp throat. Somebody said, yeah, I do have shrimp throat. Uh, you are the closest shrimp purchase venue as far as I know to Memphis. Wow. That is pretty crazy. Um, ew, Rob has shrimp flu. Hope you feel better. Yeah, I, I am feeling better. Uh, Ken Nielsen did order 30, 30 shrimp the other day. Thank you so much, Ken. Um, Josh Rugg ordered some. So there, there's a lot of people that really support me here right now. Um, so shout out to all you guys. You know who you are. Um, thank you so much for supporting us. And I did want to say this. Um, we try to do a special every single week through flipaquatics.com um, just for something. And I figured since we were talking about shrimp today, hopefully there would be some new people that would want to get into shrimp. And so we are offering a special on our USA bread cherry shrimp. Um, if you go to flipaquatics.com, it's really easy, flipaquatics.com. Um, once you're on the website, there should be a pop-up. Um, now, if you have ad blocker, it probably won't show up. But there will be a pop-up that shows that, hey, get 40% off uh, USA bread cherry shrimp. And then it will actually come up with, you know, Put in your email here, blah, blah, blah. But you guys don't have to do that. I'm actually going to give you guys the discount code. So let me do this. Um, bah, 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 bah. So again, it's for 40% off USA Bread Cherry Shrimp. And the USA Bread Cherry Shrimp, um, <laughs> they're what they lack for in color, they make up for in hardiness. Like They are legitimately unkillable. Um, now, granted, don't test that because... 40% um, off shrimp starter pack this weekend only. Rob, please, you drive a hard bargain. Um, so, no, it is not 40% off the shrimp starter pack. Um, we did that. We, we did a uh, a big sale on the shrimp starter packs a while ago. Um, but, no, that is not the sale. So, it's just USA bread cherry shrimp. And what the code is, now the code is good through Monday. So, I'm going to type in the chat. But the discount code discount code is USA cherry shrimp or just cherry USA cherry and it's capital U S A C and then you know the rest but it is in the chat I will put it down in the description and again that is for 40% off um, cherry shrimp I'll you know it'll be everywhere and we'll I'm sure we'll talk about it again but that's one way that we really wanted to get people um, beginners into the hobby it's a great way to really get started and the USA cherries I, to be honest, they really don't have the best of color. You know, they got decent color. They're red, obviously red. But they are literally so hardy, like so, so hardy. They can survive like crazy water changes. And so I know if you are a beginner, like that is the shrimp you want to start with. Um, just for the fact that I know that they will do well. 
and I did want to turn off the volume on my phone um, just because I hate when it goes cha-ching, you know, all those stupid noises in your ear. And so it, it it's just crazy, especially when you're live streaming. But anyway, we got Flynn in the house. Um, shout out to Flynn. Ken Nielsen said, I thought it was 110% off. That, that would have been nice. Um, Dr. Red Pill said, can you teach them to swim over to Australia? Um, so <laughs> if I could teach shrimp to swim to Australia, I'm sure I would. Uh, that would be a, a gold mine. Um, everyone would be using them to to send things back and forth. But anyway, so I cannot send them over to Australia, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so back to our journey. So um, Flip Aquatics, in my opinion, is by far um, the best shrimp seller on the internet. And it isn't just because of our DOA policy and how we stand behind our product. It isn't just because of our quarantine um, but it's also our selection. Like so many websites out there are completely sold out of shrimp. Um, you know, maybe they're local breeders, which again, I always say support people that are breeding in the United States. It's so important um, because that's what's going to grow the hobby. But most of those places only have, you know, three types of shrimp, four types. Um, they don't have very much or very much quantity. So they, they're always sold out. Um, so we try to always be in stock with everything that we sell. Now, granted, there are a few that slip through the crack. Like, I know we're out of red fancy tigers. Um, I know we're out of black fancy tigers. Things like that. Like, the really, the rare stuff. Um, <laughs> Stormy said, Rob, get gold mystery snails. So, we actually do have gold mystery snails. We also have ivory mystery snails, um, which are not on the website yet. But gold mystery snails are my favorite right now. Um, I absolutely love them. If you guys have never kept mystery snails, you need to. One, they keep your shrimp tank cycled. Two, they clean. They eat things that are left over. And three, they're just freaking cool. Um, they will not eat your plants, in my experience, and what I've read. They will not eat your plants, and they will not harm the shrimp. So those are things um, that that I can say, I'm pretty sure. Um, Marco said, do you sell overseas things? I do not. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. So if you are out of state, out of, or no, if you are out of country, um, I really can't help you there, and I'm not sure who the good resellers are or retailers in other other places. Now I can occasionally ship to Canada if if there's some Canadian love out there. Um, I can occasionally do that, but shipping is just ridiculous. So usually it's not worth it. Um, so I would always suggest there's there's a reseller, Tommy Lin. Um, he's from Shrimp Fever. Um, I've dealt with him before, and in my experiences, usually I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, he also imports, so occasionally you'll have a, you know, something go wrong. But Tommy's a great guy, and I'm sure he'll he'll stand behind his product. So you can always do that. Um, but anyway, so a lot of people are asking about nano fish um, at Flip Aquatics. We also sell nano fish. We're just getting into it, so we don't have a ton. Um, I'll I'll be doing a video on that soon, and you guys can find that if you go to my YouTube channel and just look at recent videos or search nano fish, something like that. You will find it. But we are expanding into nano fish and also heavy into snails. Like, and the reason we're expanding so much into snails is because one, I think they're so stinking cool, and two, um, you know, they just go together with shrimp so well. Um, my biggest thing is shrimp do not produce a lot of waste, and so oftentimes uh, their tank doesn't stay cycled. And so if you throw a couple snails in there, snails will keep that tank cycled, you know, really, really well, and you don't ever have to worry about it. So. Um, hunt oh, <laughs> Nisi said unholy orders. Add a nearite snail to that list, and you're you have a great cleaner oh. team. Wait, twenty long or twenty liters? Um, so Nisi is the bomb. She's always linking our website. So shout out to Nisi and her husband Doug, I believe it is. Um, both great people that really really help our community. Um, let's see. There's a couple other questions that I'll answer before we move on. Uh, Fanatics Aquatics says, if you search Robert Lupton football on Google, the first link is your football career. No way. I actually have to search that. <laughs> that is creepy. Um, if you guys didn't know, my name is Robert Lupton. So now everyone knows my identity. Robert Lupton. Oh, that is so cool. So let's see if it comes up. Number 71. That was my number. O-line, D-line, um, overall. Wow, that's crazy. It actually has all my stats and stuff. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Let's see if it has my... Um... <laughs> that is so cool. 
Oh man. Well, if you guys ever want to creep on me, you can you can search my name and put football at the end. I'm sure you can find a lot. And then also, if you type Robert Lupton into Google, um, the first thing that comes up is my grandpa, uh, which I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So Robert B. Lupton. You guys should go search it because it is really cool. Search Robert Lupton on Google. The first, I'll just share my screen so you guys can see. Um, <laughs> my grandpa, when he watches, he's going to think it's so funny. He is hilarious. I actually just saw him yesterday. So when you search Robert Lupton into Google, the first thing that comes up is Robert D. Lupton author. So my grandpa is actually just an awesome, awesome guy. Uh, he wrote this book called Toxic Charity, which I hope this is a good link. I'm going to click on it. Um, yeah, whatever. Maybe we'll go right here. So my grandpa actually wrote this book. Um, it's called Toxic Charity, and it is so, so cool. If you guys are at all interested in the charity work, I mean, it is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so my grandpa wrote a book on toxic charity, and it's all about, it's all about like, what is it? Um, how people give money, and it actually hurts the people they're giving it to um, versus helping the people. And so it's just a really, really cool book. So again, it's Toxic Charity, a plug-in for my grandpa. And so huge shout out to him. Uh, shout out to Steamfot, Steamfot's in the house. And so shout out to everybody here. Thank you again for tuning in. Tuning in. Um, but yeah, my grandpa's just awesome. I, I absolutely love him. He's, he's really inspired me. He's one of my biggest inspirations as far as uh, the business goes um, because he was a real big entrepreneur. And uh, at the very beginning when I was starting up the business, um, he really helped me a lot and kind of gave me insight on what I should and shouldn't do and things like that. And so huge shout out to him for uh, just being just being an awesome guy. I um, really do appreciate it. But anyway, um, what else we got going on? So Shrimp, let me see if there's any um, questions in the chat. Um, <laughs> Unholy Order said, Rob, it's time for you to write a shrimp book. That would be fun. I, I will give you that. I would I would really, really enjoy it. Um, Michael Wells said, will you be selling mystery snails? Um, so I actually do sell mystery snails. If we go to flipaquatics.com, let me find it. So somebody said, uh, do you happen to know where to find stardust shrimp? So um, – there are a lot of places you can buy them. I personally do not have them, um, but you know, there there are some places. And and by stardust, what they mean is it is literally a shrimp that has a little speckles on it, and uh, and that shrimp, you know, is called stardust because it's got little stars all over it. Now let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you our mystery snails. Now, granted, we haven't added the gold ones um, or the uh, – what are they? The gold or the ivory. But these are the ones we do have. So uh, albino or – no, mm, I would say blues are probably my favorite. Um, so here are the blue ones. You know, they're just – they're cool. They're all different. Like when I first got Mystery Snails, I looked at this one. And I know you guys really can't see it that good, but I looked at it, and this was an albino mystery snail. I'm like, why is it albino if, if the shells isn't white? I just didn't get it. But the body's white, so I'm like, okay, like I can kind of get that. So mystery snails were confusing to me at the beginning. Um, same thing with this one. Like, It's not really that blue, but if you get up close to it, it's got like blue and orange in it, the body. And then the shell is kind of like a bluish hue. And so, yeah. I could see that. And then uh, the black one, so it's just mainly the, the skin. I mean, it's pretty much the same snail as the albino, except it's got black. And so uh, so that's maybe it. Um, what did Fanatics? Fanatics said, sorry for being a stalker, Rob. It's all good. No, I'm completely fine with it. Um, Discover is never happening. It's dead now. <laughs> Our Discord is never happening. I'm so sorry, Evan. We will figure it out. I just got so much going on that I don't want to put any more – um, things on my plate. Uh, G Bear said, "How many books did he write, Rob? I see a few. Um, so my grandpa, I don't know how many he wrote. 
I know he wrote a lot. Like he um he's a Christian author, so like I think a lot of his books were like educational. And the fact that like um like I know a lot like not a lot. I don't want to say a lot. Like I, I don't want to brag. Like th again, this is not bragging. Like I'm one of the most humble people in the world. Um, now I can brag on my grandpa a little bit because I think he's doing a a lot of great things for communities. Um, you know, for God, he's doing just a lot of great things that are helping people that you know don't even believe in God. Like you, you guys don't have to believe in them, but I, but we do. And uh, so, um, most of his books are about charity. He's really, really huge into charity, and so he is, um, you know, pretty much dedicated his life to it. He went and got his. Actually, let me just tell you because it is such a cool story. Um, I think it, I would do injustice by not telling you guys. So, my grandpa. Robert Lupton, also like me, we're both Robert Luptons. Um, my grandpa um, went to Vietnam and, and fought in the Vietnam War. And when he was over there, he saw the young men um, that had so many problems that, like, you know, they literally, some people go to war because, or go into the military because they just don't know. Like, they go over there and they kill people and they enjoy it. And he saw all these sick things and, and horrible things and all these, like, kids that were just struggling. And so because he saw those things, um, he came back and he decided that he wanted to devote his life to helping children and, and you know, helping make a difference in their lives. And so he started going for psychology, um, things like that. He ended up getting his Ph.D. And so uh, so he started doing therapy for the kids and he quickly realized that you cannot change a child unless you can change the environment that they live in. So. Um, he migrated from child therapy to family therapy, and he thought, okay, like if I can change a family, then the the child will in turn change also, and it's just a really cool concept. And so he started doing that, and then he quickly realized again that you cannot change a family unless you can change the environment that they live in. And so a lot of these families would live in like you know just total um, rundown areas where there was crime, there was stealing, there was you know, prostitution, all kinds of things. And so then he decided to, um, you know, change the environment of where the people actually live. And so then he, he started doing a thing called community development. And, uh, and that's where, like, you actually go into a community that is run down, um, that is ghetto, and it's just not doing good. And he um, decided to move into one of these areas and actually learn what these people went through and he put his kids into the inner city schools and all this stuff um, just to be there and see what is going on. And that is where he actually started seeing all the things that um, were supposed to be charity, but they were actually destroying the community. And so that's where his book kind of comes into play. And I know that this is so off of shrimp, and I apologize for it. We'll get back on topic soon. Um, but uh, just huge shout out to my grandpa. I, I love that man so much, and he has done so much good for this world. Um, so much good for our country and just so awesome. So shout out to my grandpa Lupton. Uh, he lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I think his ministry um, is F FPS Ministries or something like that. Um, whatever, you got to look it up. The Toxic Charity is his book. So anyway, getting back on the shrimp, I'm sorry for the tangent. Um, let's see what we got going on. <clears throat> let's answer some questions. Um, Emerald Pet says, at Flip Aquatics, do you know how to control or cure elipicid? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you made me say a bad word. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you meant to say elobiopsidea on shrimp. I had someone ask me, and I don't know. If you're talking about elobiopsidea, it's also called the green parasite or green fungus. It looks like a shrimp is buried. That, that's pretty much what it is. And they're... So put it this way, when we import shrimp, um, let's say we import, let's just use round numbers. We import 1,000 neocaridina shrimp. Of those 1,000 shrimp, probably 300 will have elobiopsidae. So we take those shrimp out before they die. Um, most of the time, sometimes we miss them and then have to take them out when they die. Um, but we try treatment after treatment after treatment on them, and we have not found anything to cure them. So if you are talking about elobiopsidae, um, as far as I know, it is uncurable, especially when it is completely like outbroken, like, you know, just coming out of the shrimp because it is a, a nasty, nasty parasite. So you do not want that. If you see it in your tank, um, quickly remove the shrimp that has it 
and then uh, just quarantine it, let it live out its life, or you can euthanize it, whatever you want to do. Um, but the shrimp will die for sure. Um, what time do we go live? No notifications today. Jordan Leroy, I apologize. Um, I went live at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I usually go either at 6 or 7. I guess it just depends on schedule. But we do live stream every Sunday unless I'm out of town or something's going on. And shout out, we are going to Chicago. We are going to Chicago next weekend. Um, not this weekend coming up, the following weekend. So like basically two weeks away for the aquatic experience. It's going to be an amazing time. Um, we have the, the Flip Aquatics booth there. So come check us out if you're going to be there. We're going to be selling shrimp, uh, fish, snails, hard goods, everything, hardscaping material. We're going to have it. Uh, it's going to be a blast. We're going to have the YouTube booth inside of our booth. And we're going to have, you know, some celebrities there like Aquarium Co-op. Um, we're going to have Steam Fought Aquatics. We're going to have Flynn's Fish Form. We're going to have a lot of people. Um, so it's just going to be a blast. I can't wait. So definitely come check it out. Um, Rob, do cherry shrimp eat banana plants? <laughs> my other plants are doing are good, but my banana plant is tore up. So I actually don't know that answer. I would highly doubt it, but it doesn't mean it can't happen. It's always possible um, that things happen that I'm not aware, that I'm not aware of. Um, I've personally never kept banana plants, so I'm not sure. So I would have to try it. Um, Stormy, what's going on, Emma? She said, "Hey, Rob, I need your opinion. Out of my 17 guppy fry, about four of them or five um, have bent spines, and they're smaller than the rest. And I think I need to call them, but my mom." does not want me to call them. So I would highly suggest you call them. Um, now, if I remember this correctly, I think Corey um, said when you have bent spines that it could mean, <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear the dogs barking. We have my mother here um, from out of town and she brought her two dogs and oh my gosh, it has been a crazy. But anyway, the bent spine thing, it could mean that there's a parasite um, that's causing them stress, that is causing them to be deformed because they're getting lack of nutrients. Um, it also could be um, bad genetics. It could be a lot of things, but I would definitely suggest uh, treating your tank for any parasites, bacteria, just, just to make sure. Um, we use erythromycin in general cure, and usually it clears pretty much anything up. So that's what I would suggest you do. Um, but I would also suggest to call out the ones that are looking that way. Um, but that's up to you. So uh, Darren Ellerton said, the book would be a fantastic idea, Rob. Get your pen and paper out, my man. I'm sure it would, sure it would sell very well with your following. Um, so that would be so cool. Um, I would, if I wrote a book, let me think about this. So I could write it on breeding shrimp, um, but I feel like that would be not that great of a topic. Um, it would kind of shorten it, but I could also talk like. I don't know. Maybe I would do like a book that kind of like summarizes my life, um, talks about like how, like why I did shrimp, like the journey that we went on, um, you know, how shrimp changed my life, how YouTube changed my life. And then maybe if we mesh all these things together, it would be an interesting book. But that is a cool idea. Um, I would love to be at a point where I could just sit down and write, just sit down and make videos. Um, right now, we're just so busy, we're so stinking busy. But it's all good. It is all good, and it happens. Um, I'm not complaining one bit. Um, giving away a Flip Aquatic Shrimp starter pack tomorrow. Steam Fought Aquatics. My man, Steam Fought, he's giving away a shrimp starter pack on his channel for his live stream. Um, you know, that's my boy. You got you to gotta help out Bob. And so Bob is giving it away. Shout out to Bob. Um, I can't wait. Um, Giggity2157 Flip. Where do you buy Nano Fish online? So... You can buy them from us. Uh, they're not currently up on the website. We wanted to get them through quarantine. I'll probably list them this week coming up and uh, and get them up there. So they will be listed soon. We literally, I promise you, we got in probably about 500 fish, um, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Um, I really don't remember. I know we bought in quantities of 50, but I'm not sure how many we actually got in. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, we have not lost a single fish, um, which is a testament to the person we get them from, um, mainly because, uh, like, shout out to Corey, Aquarium Co-op. He, he really helped me with, like, 
um, you know, good quarantine process, um, using different medicines, things like that. And so I can't take any of the credit. I can just give the credit. And so I'm giving it to Corey and I'm giving it to my wholesaler. And then uh, and I'll give the rest of it to God because he always deserves it. Um, G Bear says, how many books did your grandpa write? Um, he wrote a ton of books. Um, I don't know what they're all on. Um, MS Linenatter. Linenatter? That's, that's a tough, that's a mouthful there. Um, they asked the question, uh, anyone know of a great deal on a dinnerless shrimp 10 gallon aquarium? So if you are coming to the, the aquatic experience, um, we are going to have a ton of the shrimp king tanks, the dinnerless 10 gallons, and I will be glad to sell you one at the end of the week and after we've used them. Um, you you can definitely take them off of our hands. Um, Michael Wells said, are you selling mystery snails? We accomplished that. Talked about that. We definitely do have them. And uh, just a reminder tonight, guys, if you are new to the shrimp hobby, if you are new to uh, Flip Aquatics, um, I want to encourage you to take, take advantage of a sale we're doing. Uh, we're doing 40% off cherry shrimp tonight. Uh, USA bread cherry shrimp. It's going to go through Monday. Uh, the coupon code is USA cherry capital U S A C and the rest is lowercase. Um, but it's all one word. You type it in our website that everything's going to be down below in the description. Um, I'm sure Nisi will look it up in the chat if you're live and they are simply the hardiest shrimp that we've ever kept. And, uh, they're definitely for the beginner. So if you are new and you want to give shrimp a try, I want to encourage you to take advantage of that sale because we never have that kind of a sale. And it just so happened that we had so many um, starting to populate that we had to do something to like get them out there. And so it just happened to work out with our live stream tonight. Um, so we had all that going on. Uh, Priscilla said, Rob, AKA Robert, AKA Love Diesel, AKA Flip Aquatics. Priscilla, you're so right. We have too many names. It is, it is nuts. Uh, Cruz Schroeder said, Rob, I have noticed plenary in my cherry tank. Um, do you have a good solution to get rid of them? Uh, Planaria, the best way that I found to get rid of them is I dose a product called Fenbendazole. Um, you can get it on Amazon. It is under the name Panicure C. Um, you get it in one gram packs. That's the easiest. Um, and then you dose one gram pack does a hundred gallons. Um, so just guesstimate, you know, do your best measurement. If you got a 50 gallon tank, you know, a 55, you want to do half the pack. If you got a 10 gallon tank, just do a little sprinkle. Um, now, you can overdose a little bit. I don't recommend it, um, but you can. You know, it's it's not going to really mess you up. Um, shrimp are pretty hardy, and so uh, so fenbendazole just sprinkle it in your tank. Do water change maybe three days later. Um, let it go for a week. If you see planaria still, do it again, and eventually it will just kill them off. So that's what we do. That's what you can do, and it will definitely work for you. Um. Okay, let's catch up on chat. Um, Miss Linenatter said, I am a 70 year old lover of your channel. I am a, um, I don't even know what a good comeback would be. <laughs> I had one and then the money came off wrong, so I didn't say it. Um, but thank you so much. Um, I love you and I love everyone else watching. You guys are awesome. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be the person I am today. And so shout out to all of you. Um, Nisi did link the specials, so check that out if you're live. Um, what else we got going on? Hey, Rob, can you believe someone paid $10 for a little bag of Java Moss? Craig said that. Yeah, so I had an auction today, um, the YATFS auction, Youngstown Area Tropical Fish Society. That's a mouthful. Um, but the YATFS, YATFS auction was today, and uh, I think I paid $15 for a bag of Java Moss. In fact, I don't think I know I did, um, which is ridiculous. But when you know the sell, you know they got good Java Moss, you know, you, you're willing to pay the premium to get the good stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what I had going on today. I was at an auction all day. Like I said, my, my mother-in-law is in town, so we've been hanging out with her. Uh, we actually just got done eating a huge bowl of ice cream. Um, I'm feeling, feeling pretty fat. Uh, bring back Mama Lupton. Yeah, my mom is a pro when it comes to talking to people. Um, we're actually going to be doing... We're actually going to be doing a big live stream um, for Black Friday, and I think we're going to do one for Cyber Monday as well. And I'm going to try to get Mama Lupton over here helping me out. 
Um, because if not, I'm gonna be exhausted. Uh, River Life, ten dollars super chat said, sharing a little love and celebration on my channel, hitting a hundred subscribers. Um, congratulations, my friend. Um, so River Life, um, now has 20, 126, 127. I just subscribed, and uh, you guys are more than welcome to go subscribe too. Um, so shout out to River Life, um, for um sharing the love and a drop in a super chat so thank you so much let's see if you guys have any questions on shrimp related fish related whatever it is business related life related anything like that feel free uh to drop a question and all you have to do is do the at symbol and type in flip aquatics dash love diesel and i will get to it right away so thank you so much for the questions um evan roll said rob i would have bought your cherry shrimp but it's too late I get my cherry shrimps tomorrow from the fish nerd, but it's okay though because I got to support the fish nerd. So Carlos is my buddy. Um, Carlos actually originally got his shrimp from me, so you know they're going to be hardy. Um, he started off with the USA ones as well, and Carlos has just done a great job. Um, I actually did a fish room tour with Carlos, a.k.a. the fish nerd. Um, you can find that. I think it's it's something about turning his garage in, into a fish room to make money doing what he loves. I think it's the title of it, something like that. Um, but you can search it and find it. Carlos is an awesome, awesome guy. Um, <laughs> Fanatic says, write a book, Rob. I'll, I'll, I'll try. It's going to be a while, though. Um, Emerald Pet says, at Flip Aquatics, what are your quarantine meds and process? I want to know so when I get more, I can quarantine them before putting them in my established tank and shrimp tank. Um, so I always say this. So I really can't – I don't want to get into specifics. And the reason why, I, I will share with you guys what I think you should do if I was in your position, um, but I really can't give you my exact quarantine method. Um, now, granted, it's because it's on such a larger scale, it really wouldn't apply to you. Um, but also, um, anyone else that imports shrimp and is a competitor of mine, um, you know, I really don't want to give them all the trade secrets, but I will share with you this. Um, it is always good to quarantine your shrimp for 30 days. <laughs> So if you are buying from a source that you're unsure of, I would quarantine them from 30 days, make sure they're nice and healthy, um, and then add them to your tank. Um, really, I wouldn't add medicine until you saw signs of stuff. Um, we usually add medicine about two weeks in, and we use fenbendazole, and uh, we just dose that. You can, you, know, you can leave it in your tank water, do a water change three days later, and that will pretty much kill internal parasites, external parasites, you know, pretty much anything that can come in on shrimp. Um, you know, you have to be careful, you know, some sellers, you know, they're known for um, spreading uh, not parasites, but like pests, like aquarium pests, like little little organisms, like water fleas and stuff like that. Um, so always be careful about that. And if you have a quarantine tank, you can pretty much guarantee you won't get that stuff because if it does start popping up, um, fenbendazole will kill most of it. And, uh, and also you can just make sure not to net it out. So it's always good to do quarantine. Um, crew said he noticed planaria. We talked about that. Fenbendazole is pretty much a, uh, a lifesaver. Uh, Fenix Aquatic says, search for the aquatic experience. So, uh, that was my big plan. Um, so let me share with you some of my plans. Now, these might not come to food. Uh, they might not come to pass. I, I, fruition or whatever it is. The man always makes fun of me because I can't hear really well. And so sometimes I mishear words and I always think you pronounce them a different way. Anyway, besides the point. She makes fun of me, and she thinks it's funny. She's a little stinker. That's my wife, by the way, if you don't know. But anyway, shirts for the aquatic experience. My plan is to have shirts done in time for the aquatic experience. And if they're not done for the aquatic experience, then what I plan to do is on Black Friday, I'm going to, for an order of, like, let's say, any order over $60 is going to get a free Flip Aquatics T-shirt. And so that's what I'm leaning towards. Um, but the truth is... I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm hoping it will happen. Uh, um, let me see. B St. John is in the house. Uh, the book things not to do, uh, not to do when you start a shrimp business. <laughs> I don't know what Mark's talking about, but he's funny. Um, Josh Rugg said, everything I need to know in life, I learned from shrimp. Rob Lupton, that is true. Um, I, I probably have said that. Everything I need to know in life, I learned from shrimp. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, shout out to the people that super chatted today. Thank you guys so much for for supporting me above and beyond what what you have to do. I mean, it's always 
um, extremely generous of you guys, and I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, Travis Wise says, is there any way uh, to get all adult all adults when you order the cherry shrimp? I wouldn't mind paying a few extra dollars if needed. Um, so Travis, like the imported shrimp will always be adult, be adults because that's how we get them. Um, the USA bred ones, um, usually they're, they're juveniles. Um, just because juveniles ship a thousand times better, they acclimate better, everything like that. Now, if you want just adult shrimp, I would encourage you uh, to order the importer ones um, because, you know, even if I put a note on an order and say like, hey, this order, make sure uh, to ship just adults. Um, usually when you're shipping, you know, a lot of orders out in a day, um, it's easy to make mistakes and forget. And, and it happens a lot. So I'm just telling you that it probably could slip through the cracks. Um, but if if you really, really want just adults, Travis Wise, send me an email, rob at flipaquatics.com, and, and I can make that happen. Um, you can if you really really do want them, you can you can place an order tonight, and then we'll just figure it out, and then I will make sure that I bag it tomorrow, and I'll get it done. Sorry, my my trash can topped over. I haven't yawned yet. Um, how <laughs> Reef Real Estate said, how come no videos? So I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Reason why is because we're getting into like busy season of, you know, just this this hobby like. Um, this is the time of the year when everyone's inside. Everyone's working on their aquariums. And so business picks up. You know, I have an employee, which I never had before. Shout out to Jeff, um, the best employee in the entire world, if he's listening. Um, Jeff really helps me out. So um, dealing with um, just having an employee and keeping them busy and making them happy. Um, and then I'm married. And so I've never been in a busy season while well, married. I guess last year I was married this time, but we weren't as busy. And needless to say, there's a lot of life things going on. Um, you know, something recent that happened um, that's really been taking up a lot of, like not, I don't want to say it's been taking up a lot of my time, but, um, you know, I was going to make a video about this, but I might as well just tell you guys now. Uh, my cousin, uh, my cousin, just awesome, awesome, awesome guy. Um, 25, uh, missionary. You know, he's, he was, he's over in the Philippines doing mission work, um, you know, sharing the gospel. Um, just like the type of kid. Um, that would truly like give you anything. And so, um, what was it? September 20th, something like that. It was, it was a few, few weeks ago, almost a month ago now, actually. Um, we, we got the call that they found him dead and, uh, and still we, we don't know what happened. Um, you know, he, they, they just found him at, they first, they said they found him at the bottom of a cliff and then they said they found him at the bottom of a tower and, uh, just like just crazy stuff. So like we, you know, obviously, I would say most of us are convinced that he was murdered just because, you know, whenever you're a Christian um, sharing your faith in a foreign country that doesn't accept it, um, there's bound to be someone that disagrees with it and does something bad. And so uh, so my cousin, uh, shout out to him. He gave his life for what he believed in. And so we had his funeral yesterday. And uh, it's just been an emotional roller coaster, especially I've been sick lately. And so there's just a lot going on. And uh, the cool thing is, is my cousin, you know, even though he's he's dead and, you know, he was only 25, um, you know, he he lived an awesome life. And uh, in my mind, I know exactly where he is. And so, like, you know, the sadness is gone and it's just rejoicing because, like, he is where he needs to be and he's where he wants to be. So that's just a little bit about what's what's been going on in my life. So the no videos um, have been uh, ridiculous. Um, just because life has been ridiculous. And so it all works out. Um, Aquarium Co-op in the house. Yeah, baby. Shout out to my man, Corey. He said, sign up for the weekly Flip Aquatics newsletter if you want to see Rob writing about shrimp. Not quite a book. It's so great. So Corey, not only dropping a $5 super chat, but also putting in a little plug there uh, for me. So really, really appreciate Corey. Uh, Corey has done a lot to help me in my business and uh, help me on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. So um, shout out to, to Corey for everything he does and uh, and really appreciate it. But thank you guys all for the kind words. I, I'm seeing, um, you know, just a lot of great stuff coming in the comments. So thank you guys for um, just your love. Uh, always appreciate it. Um, but, you know, li life isn't always easy, but you can always be happy. You, you know, it, it's, it takes nothing 
um, to be happy. And, and that's the, that's the way I live my life. You know, it's just, it is what it is. You got to keep moving. Right. And so let's see, we got, we still got 10 minutes, baby. We got a long time to go. Um, got a roll, dude. My birthday dinner today. Woo woo. Uh, Reef real estate. Shout out to you. Thank you. And, and seriously, thank you guys all. I know that there's a little bit of delay between me seeing your comments and you guys actually hearing what I'm saying. And so I, I am reading them and uh, you guys are awesome. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you guys, um, you know, always being there for me. And, uh, and truthfully, I, I didn't make a video about it sooner just because it was one of those things that it's just, it's hard to talk about. Um, but now that it's like, you know, we moved past it, everything's, everything's good. It's good. You know, it is good. It's all good. Life's good. Um, but thank you so much. Um, love you guys for sure. Really do. And, and when I say it, I, I really, really, really mean it. Like, I, I really mean it. I, ho I, I hope I hope I'm genuine or I come across genuine. But anyway, um, I think we got pretty off topic. Um, you know, we talked talked about my grandpa, my cousin, um, all that kind of stuff. And so we got off topic. We were going to talk about um, Flip Aquatics being the best place to buy online tonight. Um, but you guys know how that goes. Um, whenever you do a live stream, you start somewhere and you always end somewhere completely different. Um, but, you know, as long as we're having fun, as long as we're enjoying spending time together, that's all that really matters. Um, uh, Ender Flight said, I don't know how I could ever do what you do, especially after this. Um, you're certainly one of my most admired people I know. Wow, Ender, Ender Flight, thank you so much for that. Um, you know what? Through YouTube, through making videos, I always hope that I can be an encouragement to you guys. I always hope that um, no matter what, I can always put a smile on your face. I can always yawn, and you guys think it's hilarious when I yawn because I always freaking yawn. But I hope we can just hang out and just be real. Um, you know, I, I see a lot of people um, that do that do videos and do stuff online, and, and they just kind of pretend. Um, they're not They're not their genuine selves. And I hope that you guys see – through, through, I hope you guys see that I'm genuine. I, ho I hope you see that we can just be real people. And I swear to you, when you meet me, you are going to um, know that like I'm the same person that you see on on video. You know, that's just the cool thing. Um, I'm I'm a touchy feely kind of guy. You know, I'm the kind of guy that give you a hug. You know, all that kind of stuff. Like, let's get a picture, uh, things like that. And so, uh, so that's you know, if you can't smile, um, at least you well. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but I always smile. That's basically what I, I was going to say. And you guys even know, like right now, like just talking to you guys, like I, I swear there may only be like two minutes that I'm not smiling because I just genuinely love this. I love talking to you guys. I love hanging out. I love doing what I do. And I love freaking shrimp. I love them. Because <laughs> I don't go. Uh, Jordan Rogers dropping a $10 super chat. A pleasure to hear how unashamed you are you and your family are about your faith would love to connect with you sometime and discuss things such as marriage shrimp and starting a business um yeah you know um you definitely can't be ashamed of who you are because i accept everyone else for who they are um it doesn't matter what religion you are it doesn't matter what you're going through um it doesn't matter if i completely disagree with your lifestyle i i accept every single one of you um exactly for who you are and where you are and and i love every single one of you the same and I always say this, if I had one mission in my life, um, just one, if, if there is one thing that I could live my whole life for, it would be to love every single person I come in contact with. Um, because of that, it isn't always easy. Um, I've met some pretty rough people that have done me very, very bad. Um, it really hurt me and things like that. And to love them isn't easy, um, but that is that is my life goal, absolutely. That's why, I, that's why I started saying, like, you know, you guys look back a year ago. I think that's when I started. It's just so much love. So much love. King Lee dropping a $5 super chat said, Rob, do you still get weirded out when you get super chats? <laughs> Hope to make you feel a little weird. Oh, just kidding. Um, King, honestly, when I get when I get super chats now, um, it's just one of those things that humbles me. Um, because it's like I appreciate – like right now, I appreciate having 119 people um, just to listen to me. And, you know, they, they comment back, but I don't always read them. But like 119 people listen to me just talk. 
Uh, and so like that is humbling. And not only that, but for someone to like be like so appreciative, so appreciative of you know my time and what's going on that they they give money as a, like a way to say thank you like it just humbles me like you know we we're it, it just basically shows that the connection isn't just one way like i feel how i feel about you guys and you guys feel how you feel about me and it just shows that it goes both ways so it's just so cool so thank you so much king lee thank you so much jordan um i'm always willing to connect jordan um you can always send me an email uh things like that and i'm not always the best at responding but i will do my best and so thank you so much. Uh, Jordan Leroy 19 said, um, you're Rob, you're such an inspiration to all shrimp keepers, a very humble gent. Have you ever used shrimp king baby or yummy gummy? Um, so the shrimp king baby we use, we definitely use, we especially use it, um, for the fan shrimp just because they're, they're always feeding the water column. So we try to give them that, that baby cause it's got a lot of protein in it. So we'll feed them that, um, I don't regularly feed the baby to like our normal tanks um, just because we're already feeding, you know, complete things like that. And we feed them enough to where the babies don't have to struggle for food. Um, but if I only had one tank, I'd probably use every single product they have um, just because then you only have one. Like when you, when you have 160 tanks, like it's impossible to use every food because, you know, you just burn through like that. You only have seven, excuse me, you only have seven days in a week, things like that. Uh, the yummy gummy is actually perfect for photography. Um, so you can literally just stick it somewhere, put it in the tank, and know that those shrimp are going to come up to it and start eating it. Um, now, I have never personally used it for pictures, um, but I'm pretty sure Amanda that uses it from time to time. Um, I know that's what they suggest it for is, you know, taking pictures and things like that. It's a good treat. Like if you have people coming over to your house, you can put it somewhere, and then they all just swarm it. Um, so that's always cool. Um, Evan Rules, let me make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, Evan Rules says, at Flip Aquatics, have you ever heard of someone having an outbreak of parasimia in a shrimp tank? It cleared up for me, but it was weird. So I have to look up what parasimia is to know for sure. Um, parasimia is a genus of unicellular um Ciliates, <laughs> commonly studied as a representative. Oh, this is too in depth for me. Um, I don't know what that is, so I can't tell you. Uh, let's do parasimia in an aquarium. Um, I would have to watch a video on it. So I don't know offhand, to be completely honest, to be 100% honest. And um, I'm always honest with you guys, so that, that's honest truth. I'll have to do some research on it. I got to pull it up now. Um, rice water, Daniel Kim, shout out to rice water. I've missed you, buddy. Um, he said, Hey Rob, um, how do you tell the difference between cherry and bloody Mary shrimp? Um, that's actually really easy. Once you, once you know the difference, uh, cherry shrimp will actually like be splotchy. Um, for the most part, most of the time, you know, they're transparent, but it's a shell color. Um, bloody Mary's their whole body, their tissue, everything is a red color. It's not the shell. It's their actual tissue. And so, like, if you shine a light up in a Bloody Mary, you will know right away. And once you compare one side by side, you'll you'll really know. The turtle girl in the house. You always seem so joyful, Rob. It's awesome. Always makes me glad to get on these live streams. Um, well, that's what it's all about. We we are here, um, to share the love and spread happiness. <laughs> and uh, and also spread the shrimp hobby. That that's that's an that's an amazing one. Um, Got to do that. Michelle Angel said, "Wow." Amazing life goal, and uh, if you guys weren't here for that, my life goal is to love every single person I come in contact with, and genuinely love them. Like, not just like, hey, I love you, brother, but like, man, like, love you. I give my life for you. I love you. That kind of love, agape love. If you guys have ever heard of that, agape love is unconditional love. Like, no matter what you do, love you. Um, Roma Aquatics says, keep talking. <laughs> Roma Aquatics, my man. Uh, Chris Roman really enjoyed hanging out with him this past week. Um, I was down in Buffalo, New York, and I uh, got to hang out with just some amazing fish keepers, some amazing people. Um, shout out to all the Buffalo people I met that are watching this stream. Um, really appreciate you guys. Shout out especially to Donna and Pete um, for being so hospitable to me and um, really just being awesome. It's always good meeting fish people too because they're, they're really cool. 
Um, Richard Norwood said, have to go, but I've enjoyed listening. Just say grace. Or just say grace. Grace. Thank you. Grace, grace, grace. Um, hey, Rob, what do you think about Mexican crayfish? I think they're awesome. I think they're beautiful. I think they say small. Um, the other thing that I think about them is a lot of states don't let you have them, which sucks. Um, but if your state allows you to have them, I think they're absolutely awesome. The only reason we haven't got them is because I don't want to get in trouble, like, um, you know, shipping to a state that may not have, may not be able to have them. So um, that's why I haven't got them. But um, again, tonight we are running a special on cherry shrimp. Woo! -hoo! Uh, USA cherry shrimp. They are, um, you know, what is it? They are forty percent off. So I think it's like, you know, for ten, it's like, um, I don't know, dollar sixty or something like that. And uh, we're just trying to get more people into the hobby. We had a lot of them, so we figured we might as well um, spread the love and get more people into the hobby. So that's what that's for. Um, Rob has great energy and enthusiasm. Eric B's Aquariums. Uh, Eric, you only live 45 minutes from me if you were in uh, New Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So if you are that close, we got to connect. Uh, the Shrimp Shop, dropping a $5 Super Chat. Hey, Rob, the Purple Zebras are always hiding and never see them eating any thoughts. So the purple zebras do like to hide. Um, they definitely do like to hide. That is the one problem that they have. Um, uh, they are small, so they eat a lot less. So what we did with them is we would feed a lot of powdered foods, um, like bacteria E. Um, I'll have to ask Amanda exactly what she fed them, but I know we fed them a lot of powdered foods just to make sure they always had enough food. Um, but – Honestly, if shrimp are hungry enough, they will eat. I mean, they're not going to just let themselves starve because they're scared. <laughs> Although, you never know. You never know how intelligent they are. Um, but, yeah, so uh, the shrimp shop, uh, feel free to send me an email, and I can get back with you, rob at flipaquatics.com, and we can go about that. Um, but if you guys did want to take care, take advantage of the 40% off USA bread cherry shrimp, uh, the code will be down below, and it's also – um, USA Cherry is the discount. Capital U, capital S, capital A, capital C, uh, H, E, R, R, Y are all over. Okay, so that's that. But huh, Stormy Miss, I hate doing water changes in long sleeves. I know. I got the long sleeves on. My wife, my wife dressed me today. I don't normally wear long sleeves, but, you know. Uh, how do we contribute on a live chat? So um, Miss Linenatter, so it depends, like, um, if you're talking about super chats, there should be a little dollar sign, but you definitely don't have to do that. Um, or you can just talk. You can contribute by asking questions, things like that, and it's all good. Um, what else we got going on? So I am getting ready to go out to eat with my mother, uh, my mother-in-law, and my beautiful wife, Amanda, who is also hardcore into shrimp. Um, now she's hardcore into betta fish, which you guys will see a video on that. And, uh, and so the... There's some cool stuff going on. Pleco Steve said, any easy solution to hair, hair algae with shrimp in the tank? Um, so <laughs> that's awesome, King. Uh, so I'm not good with hair algae. You know, a mono shrimp will probably, you know, definitely pick at it. Um, you know, switching up your light, things like that will help. Um, but as far as like an actual cure, I know you can use peroxide. Shrimp are fine with peroxide. I uh, just don't overdo it, you know. And more than one milliliter per gallon is probably overdoing it, but anything less than that, you're you're okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, just try different things. You can look up online. Uh, Corey Aquarium Co-op, I'm sure he would know how to fix it. Uh, Dustin, Dustin's Fish Tanks, I'm sure he would know how to fix it. Uh, so either one of those, hit them up, and they will probably give you some. They will definitely give you better advice than I gave you. Uh, Kang Lee, my really good, my really good buddy, Kang. Said, my wife said she loves you and Amanda. She's so happy she came with me and got to meet you both. King, thank you so much. Tell your wife that we love her too. And uh, I can't wait to come up and hang out with you guys. I can't wait to see you at the event in Chicago Aquatic Experience. Um, I hope you're going to hang out at the booth with us and spend the weekend with us, um, along with like Ollie Taylor and people like that. So you guys are absolutely awesome. Um, <laughs> Glaz said your prices are so high though. So Glaz, I do have to agree with you. Um, flip aquatics, we do have higher prices. And the reason why is when we get a shrimp in, we don't bag that shrimp up and send it to you. Um, because if we did that, we can, we can drop our prices a lot, but we actually take the time, um, every day to spend two or three hours on the fish tanks 
checking every single one, feeding them, um, removing any dead ones, checking for parasites, removing ones that have it, treating the tank with medicine. We hold in for uh, 30 days, which is a huge risk because especially neocaridinas die rather quickly um, if you just you know don't take good care of them. And so the reason our prices are so high is because they are such high quality. When you get them, they are 100% guaranteed, and I know that you're going to have success with them. So my thought is a $4 shrimp is cheaper than a $1 shrimp that you buy 10 and they all die. Um, so I would much rather have the ones that live. So that's my thought on it, and hopefully – the majority of you will agree because I know if I was a hobbyist and I was buying, that is what I want would want the person to do. So I'm always willing to pay more for something that is that much better health. So love you guys. Love all of you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for your positive thoughts, your positive prayers, everything like that. You guys are awesome. So much love. You guys have a great week. I will talk with you guys soon. Later, guys. I'm going to eat with the missus. <laughs>